you like shoes? I like shoes. Check out some new shoes I got. Uh, these shoes are for aerating your lawn. I, I found these for super cheap at a garage sale and I thought I've got to have these. So when I'm walking around mowing the lawn, uh, man, I'm going to aerate the lawn as well. And why would you why would you aerate the lawn? Why do you why do you want to poke little spiky holes through the soil? It's so that the soil can absorb the nutrients so it can give more good stuff to the grass, you know, the water or the fertilizer, whatever whatever you need to get in there to penetrate and to grow. These shoes will help you do it. Now, these shoes made me think of a parable that Jesus spoke about one time. He spoke about uh, like a, a sower goes out to sow seed and there's four different kinds of soil. And some of that ground is really rough and needs to get broken up. It doesn't absorb the seed. Or some of the, some of the soil lets the seed in there, but then like weeds come and just choke everything out and there's not any fruit. And so Jesus goes on and he quotes what the prophet Isaiah said in the Old Testament. He says this about us, really the people. It says, you will ever be hearing, but never understanding. You will be ever seeing, but not perceiving. For this people's heart has become calloused. Then they hardly hear with their ears, and they have closed their eyes. So I'm thinking about this, thinking about this going, you know, our hearts are like that hard soil, so we need like a, some kind of an aerator, something to get in there and penetrate and poke. And that's what God's Word does. God's Word like penetrates even through like bones and marrow and soul and spirit. God's Word dives deep into us, prepares our heart to receive the good news of God's love. So what does Jesus say he does? Jesus goes on, he's quoting, he said, but blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. For I tell you the truth, Many prophets and righteous people have longed to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. So listen, anyone that has ears to hear, that God is on the move and God is speaking to us. So I pray that we would have ears open, eyes open, hearts open, ready to receive God's word. And if, worst case, if we're not ready, um, man, our God is a gentleman, but sometimes he is not so gentle when he rebukes and restores us. Like, like the, pot, the pot going through you know, the clay or like the silver being refined in fire, God will use those things as well. And if you find yourself in a refining kind of time, times are hard, I pray that you will thank God for what he is doing and thank him that he goes through those hard times with you. All right, so God bless you.